football scene, you're, you're, you're pretty focused for Saturday. Um, how long did it take for you to sort of forget? You keep saying, what's it done is done, it's in the past. But that was a, you mentioned that you felt you were winning all four rounds right up until that moment. How long did it take for you to get over the loss mentally, get refocused, and get in this state of mind? It's kind of like forget, but you never forget. It's uh, it's will be with you all the time. But the, mm, the most important, how you can uh, step forward, how you can turn it into your side, in your uh, powerful side. And what is for me, I don't know. I just like was blessed to have my team, my family around me, my coach Powell, my uh, sister Antonina, my mom, uh, all my training partners, like all people who are like around me, they believe in me. And if they believe in me, how dare I am not believing me? And last one for me, um, I asked Alexa this too, I'm on a wide spectrum for professional women athletes. Uh, we just saw the World Cup in soccer. Um, Coco Goff just went to the U.S. Open. Tonight the WNBA playoffs open here. You ladies are the headliners. As part of the spotlight in professional women's sports, how special is it right now as far as what we're seeing? Widespread exposure for all professional women athletes. I think it's very important because now we can speak and people, they are listening. But the most important is that we share the right uh, words with the world. Because we are female fighters, we fight the same way what is male fighters do. We train the same way, but we will see. Uh, we will always be like men and women, right? It's kind of like obvious because me personally, I'm not pretend be stronger than a man. I'm not pretend that I can beat any man like in my weight class or something like that. No, I do martial arts because I love it because I feel this is my passion, because this is my way. And I very love to see another like girls who do the same way, not because they wanna prove to something to someone. No, just because they feel good and they can do strong things, but with a touch of uh, feminine, the feminine touch. And this is even more gonna be beautiful for the sport, even for this like uh, dangerous and hard sport. But when we are female fighters fighting, we show the different, like, a, a different touch of the fight. And this is the beauty of the sport. There's a theory, uh, because of your dominance, that you overlooked your last two opponents, Tali Santos and Alexa Ross. So I was just wondering if there's any truth to that. Mm, not at all. Uh, it's not about me. It's kind of like, yes, definitely, when you are a successful for, for so many uh, years, it's kind of, kind of like affect you in some way, but it doesn't mean that you kind of like me thinking about my opponents, oh, it's going to be easy test or something like that. I never like that. I never said um, anything like bad about my opponents. I never said they are like, um, I don't have to train for them or something like that. I know it's a fight and everything can happen. And uh, fighting with the best um, girls who are competing in the world, it's every time dangerous. And it's kind of like, um, you just uh, do your things and compete to prove that you are the best. And yes, I had tough uh, like uh, uh, challenges, but I passed them. And yes, they could fight back. For example, Tyler Santos, she, she could do something, but it's not enough for the victory. And this is what is matter. Thank you for that. Um